Now this morning I'm going to make some coffee. So I'll use the Breville, the grind control, and I'll be using this coffee today. Now this is called the Higher Grounds Coffee, and it's the Carina blend, which has the black currant, black cherry, honey creamy flavor. I bought this from a local store here, and it smells amazing. And this is roasted on 3rd March 2022. So it's a month old. It should be still fresh. So I'm going to use this and And today I'll be using a single cup serving. So let me take out this and use a glass. And here I'm going to adjust the setting. Right now it's at three cups of coffee. So I press this button and I get the single serve and I could adjust the dial and I'll put it at minimum and then I can set the strength um, up to eight. Okay, I'll put it at four. I think that should be good. And now I can put the coffee beans in the hopper. That should be good and and I could seal it airtight so that the freshness stays. Okay, here we go. Now I have done these settings and I'm ready to start. So all I do is press the start button. Before that, let me open the the, the filter basket and show you it's empty. And it looks clean. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm going to press start. Okay, so that's all. Beans has been used and it's now preheating. And it shows you a countdown timer four minutes something so we'll have to wait and see let me pause the video okay seems like it's doing something Okay, right now it's doing infusing. That means it's slowly soaking the grinds in the in the basket. Another minute to go. Okay. So it says it's brewing. Okay, that's 235 ml of coffee. It shows that it's still brewing. 20 seconds to go. It smells amazing here. It's 
so almost done. Okay, so indicated zero and my coffee is ready. So let's have a look. Okay, it's really pretty hot and look at that. And immediately after making coffee, it shows to empty the coffee filter. It's very user friendly. So it shows you what to do next. So all I do is open. And you can see, you need to clean up the mess here. Even the plate there. These are the things to keep in mind. And then open the cover and clean the basket. The grinds are looking well soaked and uniform. Anyway, it's a small quantity that I made. Um, yeah, looks good. Okay, there's a bit of dry grinds there. But otherwise, it tastes good. The coffee is amazing. So let me do the cleanup. And that's how you make a cup of coffee, a single serve, on this Breville grind control. I cleaned the filter, it was a bit of mess, but uh, if you want to reduce the mess, then you could use a filter like this, a paper filter. So I'm going to make another 12 cups of coffee. So I'll be using the filter, the paper filter. Make sure you get the correct size that flushes the level and then close the lid. The coffee tastes great. I can taste the honey flavor mainly. And if you look at this, it shows that it has the blackcurrant flavor, black cherry, honey, and creamy, but I taste more honey flavor. It tastes good. I would say this is more on a stronger side coffee. I can adjust the strength here. Right now it's at four. So maybe I'll try three or two tastes good so next time I'm going to make an espresso out of this and I'll see whether there is a real taste difference between this drip coffee and making espresso using this grinds I'm sure it should be tasting great in espresso because it will extract uh, all the flavors out of it with 15 bar pressure um, so I'm going to do a review soon. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate that and see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.